Hi, and welcome to this section of the Probability and Statistics Tutor. And in this section, we're going to continue our study of uh, ordering of elements that we did in the last section. And we're going to talk about the topic of combinations, okay? Here's where things start to get a lot of students in trouble and start to, the confusion begins to mount sometimes with some students. I hope to completely avoid it with you here. Because the, the term permutation and ordering and combinations also has to do with elements and picking, picking the different ways in which things can happen, the number of ways in which things can happen, it's easy to get confused, okay? The number one rule for permutations, which we just studied, was that the order does matter. The order of the elements matters. So I know you just watched that section. That's what that means, okay? When you're talking about combinations, the order doesn't matter. And that's why I tried to drill it home so, so much for you is because when you're talking with combinations, the order does not matter, okay? Um, the easiest way to probably get into that is just to go ahead and work an example and show you what I'm talking about of when the order might not matter at all. I mean, these things are not, this is not rocket science. You're going to get this really quickly and you'll look at the formula for how to calculate the number of combinations. And once you see the difference, you'll know when to apply the permutation rule and when to apply uh, the combination rule. So let's go ahead and just briefly, briefly review what we did last section because I'm going to draw some parallels to it, even though I know you just watched that section. Let's go ahead and talk about uh, a race. Okay. We have three runners. I'm going to do this really quickly because you just watched the section. Three runners. Uh, how many ways uh, can we get first and second place? First and second place. Now, you know this is a problem in permutations from the last section, okay? Uh, and I'm going to show you the difference between this and a combination is why I'm doing this. This is a, a problem in permutations because there's a, f a clear first and second place. And that's a big keyword that should tell you the order is going to matter. So if I had, for instance, uh, Jake, Bill, and Sarah, what we did in the last section is we, we built our tree diagram, right? We said, well, Jake can finish first. And once we pick Jake, then Bill could finish second or Sarah could finish second, okay? And we also said, okay, if Jake didn't finish first, let's say Bill finished first. Then Jake could finish second, and Sarah, in those cases, could finish second, okay? So this is first place, this is second place. And then if Sarah's actually the one to finish first, uh, Jake could be the guy to finish second, and then Bill could be the guy to finish second. So this is just a review. We did this in the last section. I'm just showing you just for some com comparison purposes. And then we said, okay, in the last section that when you have problems of this type, you have, in this case, three elements taken two at a time, okay? Taken two at a time. Because I have three elements, but I'm only looking at the number of ways in which two of them can be ordered where the order does matter, okay? And we said that was three factorial over... 3 minus 2 factorial, okay? And when you do this, you'll get 3 factorial on the bottom and 1 factorial, I'm sorry, 3 factorial on the top, 1 factorial on the bottom, and what you'll have is 3 factorial, which 3 times 2 is just going to give you 6. So there's 6 perms in that case. And this is exactly what you have. 1, 2, uh, in this case, this would be 1 permutation, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. There's 6 different ways in which you can have first and second place like that. So for this case, for this entire example, the order mattered. First place, second place, the order mattered. Now, let's move into the topic of this section. Well, we're not going to use the word permutation at all. It's not called a permutation. Uh, it's called a combination when the order does not matter. Okay. So let's say we're going to use the same names to make it uh, easily relatable. You have, uh, what do we have here? We had Jake, Bill, and Sarah. Jake, Bill, and Sarah. But instead of winning a race where there's a clear first and second place winner, okay, let's say for our problem, let's say we have three people, Jake, Bill, and Sarah, just like before, uh, but we're going to send two of these three people to a conference in Colorado, let's say, and they're lucky winners of this thing, and there's not only enough money in the, in the department at work to actually only send two of them. We can't send all three of them, okay? Um, how many ways can we pick these people, okay? How many ways can we pick these people? Now... Before I even write anything down, I want you to completely internalize the following thing, okay? It's different fundamentally from what I wrote on the board here because here the order actually mattered quite a bit because it's a first place and a second place thing. But if I'm picking two people to go to a conference, okay, and let's say I pick Jake and Bill, let's say, to go to the conference. That's one ordering, right, one pairing. 
okay? If I pick Jake and Bill, and let's say vice president comes, you know, out of the conference room and says, oh, let's, pill, let's pick uh, Bill and Jake. Well, the, pre the one guy says, let's pick Jake and Bill. The other guy says, let's pick Bill and Jake. Well, they both look at each other and they say, well, that's the same two people, okay? It doesn't really matter. Buy them plane tickets, okay? The order actually didn't matter. There's no first place winner for the trip and second place winner for the trip. It's just two people are going. And Jake and Bill is exactly the same meaning as Bill and Jake it, it, for this particular problem because of the context of what it is. There's no difference in the ordering here, okay? It's not like you're picking a vice president and a president and the order in which you know, th that this happens really matters, okay? You're picking two people. And as long as the same two names are in the list, it doesn't matter who's first and who's second. So obviously, there's gonna be less combinations. Now they're called combinations when the order doesn't matter. There's gonna be less combinations, okay? Because it doesn't really matter the order in which they're listed, okay? So if we were gonna pick these people, uh, and we have, by the way, uh, Bill, Jake, and Sarah, okay? How could we do it? Well, we could pick uh, Jake. Actually, let me go ahead. What I want to do now is switch colors because it'll make it a little bit easier, okay? We could pick uh, Jake and Bill to go on the trip, okay? We could pick Jake and Sarah to go on the trip, and we could pick Bill and Sarah. Now, please take a second to make sure that you agree with this. The only three people we have to choose are Jake, uh, Bill, and Sarah. Okay? So we can pick Jake and Bill. That's this ordering. This is one combination. Okay, it's not a permutation anymore because the order doesn't matter. It's a combination. Okay? Jake and Bill. We can also pick Jake and Sarah. That's another combination. Okay? But Jake and Bill is exactly the same thing as Bill and Jake. And Jake and Sarah is the exact same thing as Sarah and Jake for this one. And we can also pick Bill and Sarah. And Sarah and Bill are exactly the same thing. So if you try to go the other way and say, well, what about Bill and Jake? Well, that one's covered by this, even though they're in a different order. Well, what about Sarah and Jake? Well, that one's covered here. It's just in a different order. Well, what about Sarah and Bill? Well, that one's covered here. It's just this one's written down in a different order. But the order doesn't matter because we're just sending them on a plane trip somewhere. Okay? So, what I'm getting at here is there's only three uh, combinations. Combinations, three combinations, okay? So, obviously, same three people, the context of this problem with the first place and the second place leads to six permutations. This problem, because there's really no first, second place, it's just pairings of people, unique pairings of people, okay? It's still three people taken two at a time, but it's not a permutation. It doesn't lead to as many different ways to do this thing because the order actually doesn't matter, okay? So the thing to take away from this problem is that anytime you have a problem, when you think about it, and you have to actually do think about it, and if you see that you're, you have n elements taken uh, r at a time, okay, but the order actually doesn't